Hi, I'm Neil at Italia Autos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the gear selector on an Alpha 147 or GT. This is a common part for braking. As you can see, it's snapped here. A lot of the time, this could be caused by your top hat bushes being seized, so you can't, it's very difficult to move your gear stick from left to right. So what you're obviously having to do is ram it left, ram it right to get it into the right gear, and this has made the plastic snap. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to completely change it and fix the problems. So if you're watching this video and it's going to be saving you some money, please at least subscribe to me, like and comment below, just so I can get my ratings up on YouTube. I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Hi there, I'm currently with this Alfa Romeo GT Diesel. I have got the customer's car here. It's coming for a gear selector fault, it can't select all the gears, I think it's only getting third and reverse. Um, we've taken the covers off here and uh, the selector is a little bit broken and snapped and that shouldn't be uh, moving around there so what we're going to do in this episode is remove the selector and replace it with a good used part okay to remove the gear selector it is attached to this bit of metal here underneath the car so we've got to drop the exhaust drop the uh, big plate which is here and then we should be able to get access to the gear selector so first job we need to undo some bolts on the exhaust they look as though they should come off relatively easily. Um, undo all the 13mm bolts up here. I think there's a couple of 15 mils here as well. And then the uh, central tunnel should drop down. So let's get cracking on with that. Okay, now I'm going to start to remove the uh, 13 mil nuts and bolts holding everything on. These ones do snap very often, so you need to be quite careful with them. Okay, now on to these 15mm ones. Okay, now I'm going to need to let the exhaust down. I have also got my stand in to support it for me. So let me just grab a pry bar. Just treat this gently because you do have uh, a seal in there. Okay, now the exhaust is dropping down. Just need to undo one of the exhaust rubbers at the back. Okay, I did also forget to say at the beginning of the video I have removed the gear surround and the handbrake surround. There is also a little connection on the handbrake itself. Um, you need to remove that, a little single uh, plug connection. That's already been removed. So now I'm going to undo the, brake ca the handbrake cables at the back of the car. I have also loosened the handbrake off which is done from, by the handbrake itself. Now hopefully that can give us a bit more room to get these four 10mm bolts off 
and then hopefully we can uh, wiggle out the uh, gear selector. Now you've got to remove these two knuckles here. There's one here on this side and there's a smaller one on the other side. And you just give them a pry and they should pop off quite easily. But as this connector's broke, it won't be doing it as just as easy as it should do. Now the part you're not gonna be able to see very well is me levering it off the, uh, the four threads which hold it on. And there's also two sort of captive clips which I need to remove to get the cables out. So I'm going to be doing all that, but you're probably not going to be able to see it very well. Keep these clips to one side so you don't lose them. And now the cables are loose, we just need to get the two connections lifted off there. There we go, we should be free now. It's a case of wiggling it down and out the way. Let's get these cables out first. Okay, that's the new part. See, no breakages anywhere around there. It is very common that they do break around here. They also can break internally there as well and make gear change a little bit awkward. But this is a good one. Let's get this back on now. take quite a bit of fiddling, fiddling, fiddling and waggling around to get these back on but it is nice and possible Okay, the clips are back on. I am just going to push one up a little bit further and straighten the other one up. And then it's time to just push these two ends back on and then locate it back over the four studs. Okay, there you go. You can see all the clips are back on nice and tight and the two ends are back on. And now the fun part is to get them back over these four connections.
Okay, and the last job I need to do is get the bung back in there. Okay, there we go. The tool's out. And now, we need to get this back up into position. You need to line everything up, because all the holes and everything are all out of place. Uh, once it's back up, you put the handbrake cables back on. You might just want to loosen it off a bit more, actually, because it was a bit uh, tight to get them off. Right, next bit. Okay, right, as you're raising it up, you do need to remember to reconnect your handbrake sensor. Actually, I'm going to do that once it's back in the car. Again, this is quite fiddly. It would help if you've got two people to do this, especially if you're lying on your back on your driveway. Now you'll be able to see rusty marks to locate it in the same spot where you got it from. Just put a couple in to start with and then you can fiddle it into position. Everything is just going on loose at the moment, don't forget. Don't forget to put your exhaust seal in if you have taken it off. It's also very easy to round some of these off, so make sure they are fully located before you uh, tighten them up. Oh. You see what I've done wrong there? I've got to put this back on. I've got to change some of the exhaust rubbers on this as well, so uh, but I have got to get the okay from the customer first. Right, let's start tightening everything up gently now. Check everything's tight now. We know we've got a snap on there, but that's not too important. Everything else is okay. inside the car now just going to pop the uh, clip back on here which I can't do two things at once hold the camera and get the clip on let's try and do it okay last job to do underneath the car is put the handbrake cables back on these cables are seized so I have freed everything up here and lowered the handbrake all the way down 
just so it gives me a fighting chance to get them back on. And then uh, I need to advise the customer that they need changing. Okay, that's underneath the car done now. We need to go and tighten the handbrake up and make sure the gears work now. Okay, to tighten your handbrake, the 13mm nut to tighten up is just underneath the handbrake lever itself. I have tightened that up so it's got a nice three clicks before it gets too hard. The gear selector, please ignore all the mess there. It's not my tools, it's the customer's tools, not uh, anything to do with me. I don't normally work in this much state. Um, right, so yeah, the gear selector's all done now. You can select all the gears nice and easily, five, six, and reverse. The gear top hat bushes do need changing still, but there's a long list of jobs which could be doing on this, so I will let the customer know. Um, but there we go, we're all done. Okay, there we go, job done. I hope you enjoyed watching that. As you can see, it's, it's not an easy job to do, especially if you were lying on your back on the floor in the middle of winter, so this might be a job you might want to let your, your garage do for you. The job itself takes around, around two hours when you've got a ramp. Um, some of the difficult parts is just getting this part out itself. You can suffer with broken exhaust bolts and things like that, but it, it is a fairly straightforward job, but there's quite a lot to take off and a lot can go wrong if you don't know what you're doing. So hopefully you've enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.